Uh, we are here in the middle of the Antunes Mountains and uh, after a heavy snow there is a, about uh, half a meter that will be uh, uh, five, five feet probably um, and we have been riding for uh, six hours from uh, Santiago's capital uh, Chile downtown this uh, spot uh, in the center of the country so basically we wanted to come here just to try out uh, our winter riding gear. Um, we wanted to share with you what is the actual gear that we use for long distance riding. As you know, anyone can ride one hour, half an hour, or maybe two hours, or even three hours on a motorcycle without the proper gear. That will be miserable. However, if you really are up to long distance motorcycle riding, for one, two, three days, even a month, you need to be prepared. You need to be comfortable on the motorcycle under any type of weather, even if the, uh, the uh, roads are frozen, it's snowing, it is raining, it is hot. I'm gonna tell you what is my setup that's been my go-to kit to ride for long distance riding. All in all, the gear I'm using is a uh, top layer frog top for the rain. It's a two piece piece. I'm using the merino wool 260 uh, long jumps and, um, and a shirt t shirt. Then I'm using the Dainese uh, air drag pants, Dainese air, air, air drag uh, uh, jacket with the uh, windbreaker laner. Then I'm using the Gervin heated vest, Gervin heated gloves, uh, and that, that will be pretty much it. That's, it's so flexible, the system that uh, allows you to be prepared in any type of condition. Actually, uh, uh, in the past, I was I, I swore by the uh, full rain suit. However, I learned that uh, two pieces uh, kit for the rain, it's more flexible and allows you to get the, the wires out and you can get into your inside pockets with your pants more easily. Uh, it's get, it gets uh, hotter. It's actually better. You can just zip it, zip it down and, and remove it easily. So if you like it, uh, let me know what you use, uh, what works for you. This works for me. Um, put it down in the comments and I'll see you next time.